What is going on everybody? Getting ready for Treasure Island this weekend. But before we head off down to Florida, uh, we check in with North Myrtle Beach Kite Club and go fly with a group of left-handers from Central Myrtle Beach. Uh, crazy that we have so many left-handers in the club and we're able to expand to fly on Mondays now. We got some indoor coming up uh, with Hunter Brown and we also have some more synthesis review videos with some dual line flyers. Those still following, I got a bloopers video coming up that's just been laying around that we're going to be putting out. So uh, make sure you check out Kite TV. You, it's okay, we got it. All right guys, check it out. We are out here flying at the wheel. And today we got some new flyers out here Two new flyers to the North Myrtle Beach crew. Let's go see who's out here with us today. How are you doing today, Phil? What up, Jay? <laughs> well, we're out here flying. Oh, what are you flying today? The hype. The hype. 23 year old hype. <laughs> and it's still got it, too. Well, uh, Kite TV has a question for you, and that is how did you discover kiting? Oh man, I remember the first back kite that came out when I was a kid. The first two line back kite. Yeah. I bought one. Uh, and I've line. been and I've been flying ever since. What year was that? You think? That had to be seventies. Nineteen seventies. Yeah, had to be in the seventies. Southern California, raised on the beach. That's where I flew. Awesome, awesome. Well, cool. We're gonna get back at it. In the background, you can see a new synthesis that we got out here. Let's take a look. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I really don't want to get in the way of this one today. Ooh, nice and smooth and slow. We will see you all in Treasure Island in just about a week. We're going to kick off the 2024 kite festival season down in Florida. And then we're going to Okaboji, uh, planning on making it out to the World Kite Cup. And we want to know how did you discover kiting. So if you're going to any of those events, please uh, drop a comment down below so we can get together and fly with you. Uh, but until then, we're going to get back out and do some flying. Have a great day, guys. Kite life. All right. Yep. And then you use the bottom of your handles as your brake. This is your brake. So the more you pull those, the slow the kite's going to go. The more you pull them, the kite will stop wherever you want it. So I put the brakes on like that? Yes. More kite TV coming right up. Come on, guys. Uh, we're actually at Clicks Kites Warehouse today. Uh, I'm going to show you a little sneak preview. I heard they got some really cool classic kites in and uh, Daniel's gonna give us a little tour of the place. So let's go and check it out. Mm. Oh, the door is locked. Going the secret way. Oh, let's see what we got. We got tons of kites. Yeah, let's see what we got coming up here. Oh man, Kite TV's got some indoor with Hunter Brown and Focus Kites. I've hijacked Jeremiah's phone so that I can video whatever I like here. So we're down at Brunswick Community College at the Fitness and Aquatic Center doing a little indoor flying real quick. So I hijacked Jeremiah's phone. So here we go. So uh, check out some of the videos that'll be coming out this week. Uh, don't forget uh, Boji Kites, end of the month. And then of course, uh, we are going to be covering World Kite Cup in Burke, France this year. Uh, so let's go.